Here is a super memory tip to help you remember eight adaptations of VD and helium to absorb digested food. Think of the words VD bag. Now here's a fun statement to help you remember VD bag. The VD bag the human or master to eat more food so that they can absorb more of the digested food substances. Right, now what is in VD bag? The V stands for the VD and micro VD, which are numerous to provide large surface area for faster nutrient absorption in the helium. So VD are tiny projections in the helium and on top of the VD in the epithelial cells, there are micro VD, which are tinier projections. All these increase the surface area for faster nutrient absorption. Secondly, I stands for helium. The helium itself is folded and covered by the VD or tiny projections to increase the surface area again for absorption. SA for surface area, spelled in full. L is for length. The length of the helium is furthermore very long, about three meters long to increase the total surface area for faster nutrient absorption. Okay, so the first three points are the adaptations to increase the surface area for faster nutrient absorption. Next, we have the next L which stands for lactils. Lactils are lymphatic capillaries that absorb and transport the fat-soluble substances like fatty acids and glycerol, and vitamins A, D, E, and K are added in the lymphatic system to the blood circulatory system. Lastly, the I in Vili. I stands again for helium, which secretes intestinal juice that contains about five digestive enzymes like sucrase to break down food so that they can be easily absorbed in the helium. What about BEG back? The B stands for blood capillaries in the villus that transport the water-soluble compounds like glucose and amino acids, and also vitamins B and C to the liver for assimilation. Now, E is for epithelial layer, which is the outermost layer of the, the villus. It is very thin, only one cell thick for faster nutrient absorption. Next, goblet cells, which are found in between the epithelial cells, secrete mucus, a sticky substance to aid digestion, and lubricate the helium so there's smooth passage of food through the helium. So this is the structure of the small intestine. Small intestine consists of three main parts. Number one, near to the stomach is the duodenum, then the duodenum, and lastly the helium here in red. So this is where the villus is found. And we can find uh, here the outermost layer is called the epithelial cells, and then there are goblet cells here also. And on the epithelial cells there are uh, microvilli. All right, and then in the really we have the lactils and the blood capillaries.